Uh, next move, uh, turn body, chop with fist. <coughs> uh, how we do this movement? You watch me one time from here. Uh, move back weight, right arm pushing down, left arm circling up, sitting back, stepping out, chop, and turn body, striking out. Okay, so here, uh, First, we need to clear our footwork. When we're doing this movement, uh, first the problem for the footwork is when you're turning, not turning enough. Okay, so here we have to do like a single wave turn, 135 degree turn enough. Second problem is when you are stepping out, you generally think this is empty stance. But here is okay, after you bend, now you feel it's too narrow, okay? So, which is, you have to think this is a both stance at the beginning, even your weight sitting in the back. Uh, you have to make sure, ready for the both stance. Stop, uh, shoulder width part space. This is about the footwork. Two points need making clear. Next, <clears throat> when we're doing the uh, turn body with the chop with the fist, the first part of a hand technique you need to show your right arm as a push down, push, deflect, meaning enough. So which is when your opponent's energy coming to you, you push your opponent, deflecting to the side. Then you chop him back. Okay, so from here, make sure your right arm don't make like a circle. Showing as a push, which is your right palm Keep palm facing down, push to front, where? Stomach. Sometimes you push too low. So it's round the curve, front your stomach. And if you're showing as a push, you should not lean your palm. You should sit in your wrist as facing down. But sometimes, you know, I saw some people, this also don't give a push meaning because you are standing up too much. So palm is facing down. And I also want you to include a slightly curve in here. This curve cannot be, cannot be too big. Uh, too big will make it not like a push anymore. So small enough, but not, you know, go left to right. This curve slightly, okay? And left arm, we also have some problem. Uh, some people, when you are turning, you know, left arm too low. I want your left arm covered your head. Okay, protect your head. And the right arm, left arm at this moment, both arms kind of rounded. Okay, next, move back with, it's a time for you to make him fist. Stepping out, right arm go up circle, left arm elbow down, drop, and foot Touching ground first, shift slightly weight, chop, chop how high, face level. And uh, remember before we did one movement, parry block and punch, you know, you did like this. Uh, the movement looks very similar, right? What's the difference? With parry block and punch, you're deflecting. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay, so uh, when we do the parry block and punch, often we can see some people, you know, you do this movement, you know, too much, like chopping. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, not enough deflect, meaning in there. But when we're doing this movement, you know, sometimes you're not enough chopping meaning. Uh, you're too much like a deflecting meaning, which is, you know, you do this movement, it's a too much deflect meaning in there. So which is right arm at this time, you need taking care. When you move back, you know, you're sitting up kind of, already kind of straight, chopping forward. Chopping forward with slightly weight move forward. And show chopping. Then from here, turn body striking out, okay? So even at the chopping point, 
your most weight is still on the back leg, but there is a slightly weight moving forward. Okay, and now I want you to pay attention. Left arm, shoulder down, elbow down. Very easy. Left palm not standing up enough. So keep palm standing up. Keep body open corner and ten body striking out. So this is ten body chop with fist. Okay, so uh, a little point. Sometimes I saw some people you bending wrist too much. Not necessary. So your wrist, I would say it's with your forearm. One round curve, it's enough. Don't have to sit in too much. Either we don't like to do this. So back off face, it's an energy point. So show curved enough. Show high enough. Make it as your face level. If you show it at the end like this, then it's not enough. More standing up. Okay, so this is about 10 body chop with fist. Uh, after here, <coughs> repeat movement, pair block and punch. Uh, from here, similar as before, but you need to keep your right hand is faced, rotate open. And uh, similar as before, embracing tiger return to mountain, body turn, connecting out. And I also want you uh, clear, it's not just a straight forward back. I would like you include a little bit of up down feeling. Okay, same as embracing tiger. You are not exactly forward back. You are a little bit up curve, connect, roll back to the side. Okay, so this is about the uh, feeling. Uh, some people, I saw when you do this movement, your right arm go too far left uh, to the front. This is not necessary. Waste turning from right to center. Uh, make it simple enough. Okay, so this is about, uh, you know, how we make this connection movement. And the rest of things exactly same as before. Okay, so uh, just talk a little bit more about the pair block and punch. Uh, the coordination. When you are arms connect, hands centered of your body. Arms down circle, keep your face kind of palm down. Rotate arms. Don't bending arm. Rotate arm. Okay, and when arms side, foot touching ground. When deflecting weight is front. When open arms, foot touching ground. Turn body, punching out. So this is coordination. Uh, after pair block and punch, next, a new connection movement. How we connect to the word of right. Okay, so from this point, you move back weight. At the beginning, you don't change anything. Just shift weight back slightly. Next, when you start Turn your waist. That's the time for you to rotate arms and open left toe. Everything you feel is a follow waist turn. And not only rotating, after you rotate, you also move weight to do the, you know, contact. Means go reach, ward off up your opponent. And you give a little bit of up feeling to contact your opponent. So this is about this connection movement. So at the end of this movement, I would like your weight early enough to the front. Sometimes, you know, your weight too far in the back. Then, you know, when you are start rotating, your weight way too, too far to the back, cannot pick up your right leg. Okay, so uh, the coordination from here after you rotate, I would like you put your weight early enough to front leg. Then from here, continue to turn your body, rotate arm, circle arm, then you pick up your leg. When arms close, foot touching ground. Word of right. Okay, so this is about the connection movement. 
So remember, after word of next is a rotate to grab. Palm need to sit. Right arm uh, from here. When your left arm go up, right arm actually is go down. So one up, one down. Feel balanced. Often we can see some people palm facing down. No, diagonal. Okay, palm direction is a diagonal. Follow palm edge to make a circle. Then rotate arm, close in. This is how we circle right arm. Okay, don't uh, make a too big circle. Palm edge, 45 degree circle close in. Okay, so word of right, same as before. Roll back, press, push, exactly the same before. Uh, actually, roll back, I want to talk a little bit more. Uh, I feel what? When we do roll back, some people, your torso is leaning to the left. So here, I would like you turning body, keep your, you know, in the center enough. Actually, you do lean slightly forward. Don't make it too low. Just slightly lower than shoulder. Okay, so this is about the roll back. Press push, I think, is uh, uh, pretty good. Uh, single whip, uh, kind of repeat from before. 